What up y'all, it's Teacher, and today I'm going to be telling y'all a theory I've been thinking up. And it's going to sound crazy at first, but I guarantee by the end of this video, you'll realize there's something odd going on here. And the theory is that AZ has a living descendant kind of in front of our face during the X and Y games. And we might even meet him in Pokemon Legends EA. Now this is a bit weird to imagine, right? AZ is this depressed man roaming. How could he have had a kid that would then result in there being essentially a distant kid of AZ? So let me take you through the whole thought process I went through, right? Let me start at the beginning. So here's footage of me playing Pokemon X and Y. There's a place here called the Parfum Palace in Kalos. Now, the Parfum Palace is a location you gotta quickly go to to get the Poke Fluid effectively. And this is when you get the fireworks with Shauna and all people shipping. But there's something interesting about the Parfum Palace. Its real life counterpart is something called the Palace of Versailles, which is a big thing for France. The Palace of Versailles was like a symbol of how incredible France was. All of the others around Europe would look at it and know, okay, yo, France is that big dog. The Palace of Versailles in real life is beautiful. I'll show you pictures of it. It's got one of these places called the Hall of Mirrors. You know, the Galerie des Glaces, which has like over 350 mirrors. The whole Versailles is just like a status symbol. It's got this giant garden with cool fountains and sculptures, nice hedges. And so now let's talk about the Parfum Palace. The Parfum Palace has similar things. If you go outside, the hedges are cut into interesting shapes. I don't know what the one on the top left is, but that's a soul rock, a chandelier, and what looks like a pyroar. Hey, there's that fountain I was talking about. And in terms of sculptures, there's an interesting two sculptures here, which we'll talk about after. So the Parfum Palace is the big palace of Versailles. And, you know, Game Freak did a good job recording fun parts of France in general in the Kalos region, which is good. Now, we go to part two of this, which is you can look into the lore of what the Parfum Palace is. And if you talk to different NPCs, you get the ultimate picture that it was constructed around 300 years ago by a king. And so this king, it was actually constructed after a battle was won against nearby nations slash regions. So the battle is won, then this king comes and makes the Parfum Palace. Now, in real life, we'll just start with the construction of the Palace of Versailles. It's made by King Louis XIII. He's a good king. He's pretty sick. My understanding is there's so much going around in France that King Louis XIII actually built this little castle here. It's like a breath of fresh air to escape the big things going on there. So he'd come here and hang out. That's my understanding of it, right? But this is not the Palace of Versailles. This is just some castle that he made. What happens is King Louis XIV comes and he's the one who freaking transforms this into the big palace. He pretty much made it the center of the French government and he filled with all kinds of French stuff, French paintings and everything. And it became this beautiful spot that represented the power of France. And so here's something interesting. Let's go back to in-game, Parfum Palace. There's something interesting where, remember the paintings and all, the French paintings I was talking about? There's an equivalent to this in the Parfum Palace where you can go and talk to them all. And I'll show you footage of me doing it, right? If you go to one of the rooms, there's this giant photo, right? And if you talk to it, it says, there's a portrait of someone on the wall. Perhaps it's the king who built the palace. And that's it. Now, with the information I've relayed to you, what it would seem like is the person who built this in real life would be either King Louis the 13th or King Louis the 14th. I would say more so we'd want to say it was Louis the 14th, but we'll get to that in a second. Here's where everything takes a weird turn, okay? After you beat the game, if you return to the Parfum Palace and press A on that photo, there's one extra piece of dialogue that's added. So it still says the same thing. There's this portrait of a king, must have been the dude who built the palace. Then they say, it somehow reminds you of AZ. Okay, so this dialogue comes in because we've beaten the game. So we got to meet AZ and go through that part of the story where we show him what a trainer is and all. So we got a proper look at his face, enough to when we go back to the Parfum Palace and you look at that photo, you can definitely see AZ in that photo. This makes no sense. This is a whole confusion right here. So the king who built the Parfum Palace 300 years ago was AZ. This castle and all did not exist until like a couple, three, 400 years ago. It did not exist back in AZ's time where when he was in his sunshine, he came here and had this palace built. AZ is a depressed man. 
You telling me 3,000 years ago loses Floet, for 2,700 years he wanders, and then decides to make this palace? It could have happened, right? It could have been AZ who made it, and so there's a portrait of him. And, you know, it's like those weird time traveler stories where you look back in history, and there's a dude who looks the same in various places in history. It's like that with AZ. It's like you could say he's played a purpose in a lot of France history that you thought were different characters, but are all just AZ. So, like, for example, King Louis, right? King Louis the 14th is the Sun King, right? That means there's 13 Louis that came before him. The first one was like in the 7th century or something. So, you know, just to focus on the Louis, it almost makes you think, were all the King Louis, or a lot of them, just AZ? And he's hanging back in Kalos, and they called him King Louis the First, King Louis the Third, and then the Seventh and all. Every now and then he came back and that was actually him. But, I don't like that idea. Because it just doesn't make sense with Daisy's character, right? This man hates everything. This man in his soul has not moved on from the sin he did 3,000 years ago. There's no shot in the middle he's living this glamorous life on the throne eating grapes and all, right? Or, you know, aiding Kalos in conquests against other nations and all. It seems like AZ was wasting away his life and he was doing nothing for those 3,000 years. Even though I put forth this idea, I don't like imagining AZ being the one who built Parfum Palace around 300 years ago. And by shoving this thought away is when I realized something. Here's my theory, right? The reason that photo is of AZ is because it's not AZ. The reason we think it looks like AZ is because it's someone who has his blood. It's a descendant of AZ. It's AZ's distant son, King Louis the 13th or 14th, who built the Parfum Palace, which is a crazy notion. You never think of the idea that AZ had descendants. One, because he's so sad and wasting away, and two, because he's alive anyway. And the most we know about AZ's family having descendants is his younger brother, who actually did have descendants that leads to Lysander. So Lysander's like his distant nephew, AZ's. But here I'm saying that AZ himself has a distant son, and that son is the one who built the Parfum Palace. Am I saying that AZ had this son 300 years ago? That on his depressed journey, he just decided to settle down for a bit, have a kid, and then he went to wandering again? It's possible, right? But I would rather say something like, the story would be AZ a long time ago, 3,000 years ago, set the seed of his descendants. So he had a kid back then, Maybe before the Floet stuff happened, because he was a pretty grown dude. So maybe before that, he actually did have a wife and kids and all. And as soon as the Floet stuff happened, he threw everything away and just started wandering. And so, you have his wife and kids that actually do have descendants that lead to King Louis the 13th slash 14th. Now, I know what you're thinking. I've done some research into the King Louis, because there's 14 to talk about right now. There's more after. And it seems like you're thinking, wouldn't it be a cool idea if every single King Louis was actually AZ's blood? So his blood was effectively still ruling Kalos generally. But what I found when researching is that the King Louis, they don't seem to be related to each other. Louis is just like a powerful name that means you're a strong warrior and all. And so you had different figures in France history that were King Louis. And so because all of the King Louis are kind of distant, scattered all over the place, I would rather say that AZ's blood does not exist in the King Louis. That'd be too contrived. All the dudes who ruled France, yeah, they're AZ's sons. I don't like it. So here's part three to this and what I think would be the ultimate coolness. None of the King Louis have AZ's blood, except one of them. So his descendants that carry his blood generally didn't return to like the Kalos monarch, but one of them did. Over time, one of AZ's descendants it did slip back into ruling Kalos slash France, and it was King Louis the 13th, the dude who built the Palace of Versailles. And so, you go to that photo, and it looks like AZ, ominously, because it's the first descendant of AZ that returned to a role of power like that. And now I'm gonna get to part four, which is where this idea gets even cooler and cooler. When I said King Louis the 14th, is the one who transformed the palace. King Louis the 14th 
is actually 13th son. And here's the thing, King Louis the 14th is probably the biggest, not even one of the biggest, but the biggest, most influential and powerful people in France. He's the Sun King. He's the big dude. The Sun King viewed himself as like the center of the world, the one appointed by the gods to rule and govern France. Dude was a badass. He transformed Versailles. He was a very strong character. He was a part of various wars, the War of Devolution, the Franco-Dutch War, War of the Spanish Succession, and he made France look so good. Imagine one of the most influential French kings ever. And we've just tied it to having AZ's blood. Why would Game Freak in a story they could not finish back in 2013, Pokemon Z never came out. Why did they put that dialogue that that portrait of the king in Parfum Palace 300 years ago reminds you of AZ? This has to be my answer. This is the best theory I can come up with. This blood, if we put it into Louis the 13th, it really leads to a lot of descendants that will lead to the time of Napoleon the third, which is the one that's redeveloping Paris the same way we got the urban redevelopment plan for Lumio City. So you can have a living descendant of AZ crossing over into the exact time period that we're playing Legends EA. And it doesn't even have to be a kingly figure. It could even be just like a 12, 13 year old kid who's actually AZ's descendant. And you run into him kind of like an end figure. Maybe even the story of Legends EA is something like while Napoleon is doing all this redevelopment stuff, you have AZ's descendant, this kid, who is actually the scheming child that's trying to take back Kalos because he has the blood of the Sun King and all, and he wants to be the one to rule Kalos. And the reason I want it to be a kid is because imagine the dynamic Game Freak would be able to write if AZ crossed paths with this troublemaker kid spouting that he has the Sun King's blood in him. And whether AZ knows or not that that's his like distant son, how they can make the two interact. You could have moments where AZ doesn't care and he's wandering around and the kid is just like following him around behind him. And it's a father-son moment, but you know, mans don't know. But it's just funny that the kid would be saying he has the Sun King's blood and not realizing there's an even greater thing behind that. Yeah, it's time for me to stop myself. There's a real fun story to tell you, my dudes, but I'm gonna stop myself short there. Shank that like button, let me know your thoughts below. Do you think it'd be cool? If there's something that breaks my theory, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.